Let's summarize what we talked about power. So we covered sort of four issues here. Where's is CMOS power? What's the end of Denard scaling? Where does the power go and how do we reduce power? So for CMOS power, we said that we basically have this energy, these charges that we're moving onto the gates, and these gates are what's controlling our transistors. Talked about how we're generating heat in devices because of the resistance in the wires to move these charges to the gates. And this is how CMOS devices work. Talked about Dennard scaling. And what Dennard scaling said, we only get these speed ups from Moore's law when everything scaled nicely. So Dennard said, if we follow these rules, things scale nicely and we get performance. Problem is this stopped in 2005. And since then we've been power limited, which means that everybody's changed their design focus from getting the best performance to getting the best energy efficiency. We talked about where power goes in a processor. And we saw that the computation itself, that is getting the, doing the actual math is cheap, the expensive part is really this data movement. It's moving data around. We saw that both in terms of moving data on a chip and the amount of energy we're spending in caches. And remember this off-chip access is if you have to go off the chip to DRAM to get data, it's extremely expensive in terms of energy. We then talked about ways to reduce power. Talked about how we got better circuits and devices. And I want to emphasize again, this is not something I really went into, but this is really the key thing. Most of the benefits we've seen over the years have been come from better devices. That is, Intel keeps improving their process. That's how they get all this benefit. But there's also a lot you can do on the architecture side. We talked about three ways of doing this. Turning off things, clock gating, trading off, so we're changing latency for efficiency, and simplifying, that is taking process features that are really complicated and give you performance in a few cases, and replacing them with simpler ones which lose performance in those cases, but give you better overall energy efficiency.